Hi friends, it's Shari and today I am creating some really fun holiday goodie bags for Lawn Fawn Fawny Holiday Week. I'm starting out with some Knit Picky Papers in my goodie bag die. Now I thought I would show you how I did these. This is obviously a directional paper and to keep the direction of my sweater the same on the front and the back, I'm going to be cutting a piece out of both of these. Now to get the most out of your paper, you would turn it, but that would give you an upside down piece on the back, which really doesn't matter too much on these. I don't feel like it may matter on that blue one with the hearts a little bit. So I'm just cutting them out so the direction is the same on both sides, but I'll just use the leftover pieces for something else later, maybe even an upside down bag. So I'll just cut out two pieces for each of the bags. I'm making a green bag, a red bag, and a blue bag, and I'm just lining them up to the far right of each piece, and you can use the design of the paper to make sure everything's nice and straight. So here are all my goodie bag pieces and I'm going to assemble these a little bit later. Now I'm going to work on the decoration for each bag. I'm using the Build a Snowman set for the blue one. I'm using the outside in stitch Christmas tree for the green one. And then I'll be using the Gingerbread Friends die set for the red bag. I've already cut out my pieces for each of these and I just need to assemble them. First for my gingerbread man here, I did cut him out of paper bag cardstock but I have not cut his face yet. So I thought I would show you that you just line up whichever face you want and just cut that out. And then you just back it with a darker piece of cardstock. Now I can move on to the decorations for my little gingerbread man and I cut all my little icing details from some pixie dust cardstock so they're shiny and shimmery and look like sugar and I did the same for his little bow tie there. That is cut from some red sparkle cardstock from the holiday sparkle cardstock pack. So there's that long zigzag piece that's kind of a waistband for him and then I have this cute little curly hair that I'm putting at the top. And then the die set has four of these smaller zigzags, which are the cuffs of the arms and the legs. And I like that there are four, so you can cut them all at once, and you only have to run it through your die cut machine one time. So I'm just putting a little bit of liquid glue on each of these. I'm tapping it with my finger just to kind of smear it around so that there's not too thick of glue. I don't want it to ooze out the sides, even though it will dry clear. And then now my little gingerbread, he is all done and he is ready to go on his bag. Next, I can move on to my build a snowman. And of course, I've just cut my snowman from some white cardstock. I'll use that piece that cuts out that oval to go behind his face. That's black cardstock. And then I have the little scarf here. This is from some guava cardstock. And I'm going to put the tails of the scarf down first. And then I'll put the part that wraps around the neck to cover up the top part of the tails. Of course, I have that little orange carrot for his nose. I decided to turn it the other direction. And then I can move on to his hat. Now for his hat, I'm using that same guava cardstock for the band. And then I cut the little holly pieces from some green cilantro for the leaves. and then some red chili pepper cardstock for the berries. I did cut a bird there, but I did not end up using the bird because I felt like there wasn't a great place for it on this goodie bag. I didn't want it hanging off the side or being too high because the hat already overlaps the opening of the goodie bag. So I'm just gonna leave him for a different project and just go ahead and add the arms. So I've just put a little dot of glue on the very bottom of each of these arms and I'm just layering it behind the body of the snowman. And you can see there how that's going to look on that blue goodie bag. And then the third one, I'm moving on to the little Christmas tree and I just pulled out a bunch of red buttons that I have in my stash and decorated my tree with buttons. But before I glue those on, I'm going to assemble the rest of it. So the star is cut from some yellow glitter cardstock and then the 
trunk of the tree is cut from some paper bag cardstock and I'm just layering that behind. And then I'm going to use some glue dots to attach my buttons. I've just placed my buttons where I want them to be and then I'll pick up each one, add a glue dot to the back and stick it down. I just think this is a really good way to add embellishments like buttons like this because liquid glue would take a while to dry. So once I have all my buttons in place, I'm pulling out some peppermint twine and I thought it would be fun to wrap this around the tree as part of the decoration. Now I wrapped it around in different directions, but what I ended up doing is just sticking with the going in the one direction like you see here. So you can see this is me wrapping it in the other direction, but I just thought it was a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take it off and unwrap those two that go in the other direction. And I'm just holding it in place on the back with a little piece of tape. And that's gonna hold it in place until I stick it to my project. I'll just trim off the extra piece of that string. And then you can see how this is going to look on my green bag. So I've got all of my embellishments for my bags finished and now it's time to assemble my bags. So each of these has some score lines to fold. So you fold that big piece down, you fold the bottom, and then on the side there are two long folds. These are the flaps where the are adhesive is going to go and then there is a middle fold that folds in the other direction down to a triangle at the bottom so you can kind of see as I fold it here that triangle that it creates at the bottom. Now I'm folding this in the same way and then on those long tabs I'm going to put some double-sided adhesive tape. Also, the other place that you want to add adhesive to these goodie bags is the bottom. So that rectangular bottom, put adhesive on only one of those and then you're going to layer the two together. Once you have the bottom secure, you can pull off the liner paper on those tabs and fold up the sides and adhere it to the back of the front face or the back face. Now I will say when I was starting out trying to figure out how to cut this nitpicky paper and make it work, I thought about the pattern following all the way around the bag and then I realized of course when I assembled them that the sides are turned 90 degrees from the pattern on the front. So don't worry about the pattern not matching up between the front and the back. It's not going to matter. Once you get those sides folded up, no one will know the difference because it's it's a different pattern on the side anyway. But they do look super cute out of this paper. I think it's really fun. And so for my snowman, I'm just going to add him with some liquid glue. I'm going to rub a little bit off the hat because I realize it overlaps that die cut opening there a little bit. And I don't want my adhesive sticking to anything inside. And then there is the cute little snowman done. So now I can move on to the other ones. Of course, I did all the folding exactly the same, adhered the two bottoms together. And on this one, I went ahead and put that gingerbread man on there first, which you can do it either way. If it's easier for you to glue when it's flat, put it on there first and then do all your folding and assembly. If you'd rather do it after the fact, it works that way too. So I just wanted to show you that there are options and you can do it either way. So I've got all four of my sides stuck together. I'm just putting my hand in there, making sure they're stuck down really well. And then there is the third one with the gingerbread man. Now for the tree, I am using some thin foam squares because I have that string to contend with and I put it between the string. So it's popped up just a little bit. And that's why I did put the tree onto this bag before I assembled it. I did do all my folds before I put the tree on, of course. And now I'm assembling it just like I did the other one. So I've put the two bottoms together. Then I can pull off that liner paper and fold up the two sides and adhere it to the back of the front panel and the back of the back panel.
And I just think that these little nitpicky paper bags are super cute. I just love how they turned out. Now here are the three bags. And now they're ready to be filled with some goodies. So I have some candy here. And I'm just going to pop those in there. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of fruit. And then some lawn fawn grass. Because I have this from packaging. So it's a really fun way to kind of reuse some packaging that you've got in the mail. And this looks super cute popping out the top of these little goodie bags. So I'm just stuffing the top with that Lawn Fawn green crinkle paper grass that you get in your packages. And then if you watched Instagram, I did a reel recently making these cute little tags. These are also made with the Knit Picky paper. And I thought it would be fun to take these tags that are just sitting here in my stash and add them to my goodie bags. I'm pulling out my peppermint twine again. And I'm going to tie these on to the top by tying a piece of string through the handles of the goodie bag. So I'll show you that here. Now I did want to shorten the strings on my tag. So I'm just trimming off the knot and making that loop just a little bit shorter so that when it hangs off the string, it doesn't hang too far down. So I just strung that peppermint string through the two handles of the goodie bag thread it through the loop of my tag, and then I'm just tying it in a bow. So again, I'm just threading it through the two handles, putting it through the loop on my tag. I went ahead and shortened the other two tags, and then I'll just tie a little bow, and it'll hold it closed and hold my tag on there, and it looks really cute with that twine on the top. And of course, I'm just doing that same thing on my third one here. This would also be really cute if you had ribbon in your stash, some fun Christmas ribbon that matched your bags or your patterned paper. And then here are my finished little goodie bags. So I've got the red one with the green tag and the cat with a gingerbread friend, a green one with a tree, and a blue one with the snowman. And I just think these are so much fun, not just for the holidays, but for any occasion. It's great to use your pattern paper and use any dyes that you may have in your stash to decorate them. So I hope this has given you some ideas on some fun little gift bags to make for the holidays. And hopefully you can look in your stash and be inspired and make some of these yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.